Jasmine Paolini versus Chen Wen Zhang is the final match in the purple group for 2024's WTA Finals. And both players need a win to progress to the semifinals. Zhang enters the WTA Finals as number seven in the world, and it's actually her first time entering the WTA Finals, so she is debuting at this tournament. She's had a really good season, 47 wins and 16 losses on the year, which included three titles, including, of course, the gold medal at the Olympics. And that was where she got her best win, beating Iga Fiontek on the clay of Roland Garros, which hadn't been done for a long time. But her worst loss actually came a couple weeks earlier on the grass of Wimbledon to Sun, who beat her early in the tournament. Her form has been great. She won a tournament last week, and she's one of only a couple of players that are coming into this tournament on a winning streak. Pellini into the tournament as number four in the world, which is a career-high ranking for her after an awesome season. This will be her first time playing the WTA Finals in the singles. She's also playing in the doubles as well. And she's the only player in the eight that is having to play doubles and singles this time around. Her record this year, 39 wins and 18 losses, which included two Grand Slam Finals. But she's only won the one title. Of course, that was in Dubai to start the season and that really drew everyone's attention to her and then of course after that playing well on clay and grass so she's had a really really good season and probably should get more than one title to prove that her best win was against Rabakina at Roland Garros. Very, very impressive win there. Her worst loss, however, was against Sharif in the second round of Rome just before she went on that French Open run. So going into that French Open, she actually didn't have much form. She lost to Sharif before going on that run in Roland Garros. Her form lately, though, hasn't been super great. She's had a couple of strange losses here and there, but we know how tenacious she is and how much she's going to fight for every point against the players in her group. They still played three times before with Zhang leading 3-0 in the head-to-head, -head, including a match in Wuhan a couple weeks ago that went to a three-setter they also played twice last year with Zhang winning those matches as well. But that three-setter in Wuhan a couple weeks ago is really telling and should give Paolini some confidence. If Zhang's going to win this one, she needs to limit the errors. She hit a lot of errors against Rabakina, even though she did get the win in the end. She did hit a lot of errors, so she needs to limit those. So she needs to limit those because we know how good Paolini is on the ground strokes defensively. And she makes players make errors. So she needs to limit those errors and not give free points to Paolini in this match. Also, she has to serve well. Paolini's going to win this one. She needs to defend like crazy. She was so good against Sabalenka and, of course, she did beat Rabakina, who is a massive aggressive player. So she needs to keep that defensive pressure that she's been doing over the last couple of matches and force the errors from Zhang. Maybe frustrate her as well by getting another ball back. Really fun matchup, of course. The winner goes through the semis. The loser is the end of the season for them. I have to go with Zhang, though. In a close three-setter, I reckon this one might go down to the wire. Maybe even a tie-break third set. Let's get that to see who goes into the semis. I think it's going to be Zhang. But let me know in the comments below who you got winning this one.